Okay, cool. Uh, it looks like they're still going in there, so I think... So as a Latino, obviously immigration is a huge thing that I think is important and should be talked about, um, especially being here at LULAC. We've had a great, um, several great sessions about immigration um, and the effect on the Latino community and what different presidential administrations could do to um, improve that. And then also personally, I do go to school in Lewiston, Maine, um, and obviously that had that tragic, tragic accident that happened, um, the shooting. And so gun control is definitely something that I'm passionate about and that I think should be addressed. I do think it is not only the presidential candidate, but also who they surround themselves with. And so if they can surround themselves with people who are more relatable, who are more informed on what gener younger generations are interested in and are advocating for, um, then that could maybe compensate for some of their older ages. <laughs> Like, what's the top three, top two topics that you want to hear discussed that, you, you know, you're passionate about? Uh, number one, the Palestine issue. Uh, number two, I'm from Texas, so I think the way Joe Biden or, or Donald Trump reacts to Texas and the way they've kind of ignored the, the federal government, I would like to see if they discuss that. And uh, I would probably say Project 2025. Project 2025 is a, ma a massive talking point that I would like both parties to discuss because whoever wins I mean, will take control of our future, obviously. Well, I consider myself pretty politically active and interested. Um, I don't anticipate my opinions changing much after the debate. I'm not sure that many people's opinions will change much after the debate. Um, but I'm definitely interested to see where the candidates fall and also the reaction here. It's been great hearing other people's anticipations, and I'm looking forward to seeing the reaction. So I wrote in Gaza for the primary in my Democratic ballot. Um, I don't agree with everyone who's at the encampment in my school, but neither do people sleeping in the same tent as each other, right? And I think that's a hugely important issue. I will be voting for Joe Biden, but I hope he takes into account kind of this imperative to change a little bit and earn back those voters. So my mom told me I have to vote for him, and I will, but I'm really hoping that I feel good about it.